That is nearly... Oh my god, I'm gonna... Uh, yes, ladies and gents, it is time for more WRC. Now, I promised you some Group B goodness, and today we are going to deliver. Now, because we're driving Group B today, and that isn't really difficult enough, I thought it would be a grand idea to head over to the Safari Rally, renowned for being really damn hard. <laughs> 20 kilometers of fresh hell. You'll love to see it. And when I think of Group B, there's only one car that ever comes to mind, which is this, the Peugeot 205 T16 Evo 25, 100 horsepower from a dizzy little 1.8 litre engine, all the turbo lag in the world. This car is 40 years old, but has the same power as modern WRC cars do, with none of the control and an ace pattern as well to boot. So it's a bit of a monster to drive. <laughs> Oh, it sounds angry. Start slight left, 150. Good luck. Okay, so we've got 20 kilometers of some of the most difficult stage in the world in front of us, and we're driving probably one of the most difficult cars to ever exist in rallying. Let go. Okay. <laughs> this is going to be a rocket, four, isn't it? Three, two, one, go. Slight oh. left, 150, slowing. Like oh, it's fast! Cut, 40, turn, square left, oh, the brakes are not good either. Now, these cars the don't well, actually have a handbrake IRL, but forgive me, I'm going to need it. Right, oh, my God, it's a rocket in a straight line. Now, I always, always loved the Group B cars in Dirt Rally 2. So, obviously, the moment these existed... Oh, I thought these existed. Oh, God. I wanted to give them a try, and I wanted to do a video too. Oh, massive! When you're off boost, this thing is... Oh, my God! <laughs> when you're off boosting this thing, it's absolutely nothing! Oh, it's just four-wheel understeer. All four wheels spinning in this thing, and it just pushes out. Oh, holy shit! Oh, my God! There's going to be a lot of that in this video, a lot of me just having panic attacks. Don't worry about that. But again, another marked improvement from the Dirt Rally title. I mean, you have to think of this. This car has been in sort of this series of games since the start, but never has it felt so angry. That's the thing with these cars. I think people may be sleeping them a little bit. Especially compared to modern machinery being so fast. They're a lot faster than these cars, don't get me wrong. But these cars are completely different. Oh, 450. What's that speedo down the bottom right there? 160 k's is 100 mile an hour. Oh, God. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just sort of hanging on here. I was going to add this really cool, like, sort of line of commentary I was going to go down, but it's all gone out the window. Just trying to survive here. The car's not set up very well at all for this stage. I just ran the default setup, which was a mistake. Holy shit. You just can't react fast enough to it. Come on. And whenever you are on power, it's all four wheels just spinning. There's no traction. Come on. Having to kick the clutch a lot there just to build the rest. Get that turbo working. Old school turbo this. Oh my god. 200 kilometers an hour. And I'm missing the corner. <laughs> Oh my god, this is great fun. I'm not sure it's particularly fast, but it's fun. Again, on the gravel, similar to tarmac. I think gravel is still stronger than tarmac in terms of feel and physics. And what you would expect from a car like this. I haven't driven this on tarmac, admittedly. God, where's this go? Oh, 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 oh. Okay, we're good. We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. We're good. I think we're good. We're still okay. I'm going to slow down a bit, I think. Yeah, that was a wise idea. But again, doesn't quite have that full super duper crazy sim feel. It's a little bit too much grip in places. Similar story, really, to the last um, Dirt Rally game. But, oh God, 
there are improvements. Oh, corner cut. All right, listen. I'm, I'm barely holding on. <laughs> Literally, in this case. Oh my god, the bumps! This car is definitely too stiff. He's not absorbing any of his bumps, just bouncing off the, all the mounds. It feels, it feels brutal, like in, in the actual sense of the word, you know. This must have been an exhausting car to drive in period, because you're doing so much. All the while, in real life, imagine the adrenaline is pumping. You're basically throwing yourself between trees that actually saw upwards of 200 kilometers an hour on some of these straights. In a car, well, in some of them anyway, with roll cages, which wouldn't really do much in an incident. They're just there to satisfy regulation. Driver safety in the 80s? Nah. They'll be fine. Of course, spoiler alert, a lot of them weren't. For me, this sort of car is best experience in sim. 600s, oh my god. Holy sh... That is nearly... Oh my god, I'm going off. I'm having a big crash. I hit nothing. How did I hit nothing? The 600 got me good there. I was like, yeah! And then, obviously, suddenly... Things were not okay. So definitely the cleanest run through here. But an eventful one so far. I love that the car feels like this. It feels like a monster. I mean, I, I'm barely keeping up with the thing through here. I'm afraid to give it full gas. And all these bumps, all these jumps, they're, they're moving the car around. This isn't me just doing this for effect. The car's so stiff, I'm having to just try and juggle it over the bumps there. I felt like in the old games, you could just sort of straight line that and be fine. But here, you have to really actually look at the road surface. Oh, I hit unseen. Three left over crest. Yeah. Oh my god, I just ran out of power there. I lost the outside the power band. 80. Five left. 30. Oh. Short junction. Getting to use the eight, the eight pattern as well on the uh, the pedals here, doing it properly. It feels so damn cool. And again, I know these cars exist in other Sims, and the biggest comparison I'm going to make a lot is to Richard Burns Rally because that's the sort of rally game of choice. It has been for the last 20 years. But this, for me, I can see myself spending a lot of time in this. Because whilst Richard Burns Rally, of course, has great physics, this has very good physics. And everything else is there too. It looks good. It sounds good. Even with all this huddle, I feel quite immersed in the fact that I'm trying to launch this car through some Kenyan stage somewhere. Barely holding on. Oh, big rock, I didn't even see that. And I, I love that we have longer stages. There's like a, there's a little bit of self-preservation here. Just a little bit. Only a little bit, though. Oh, I've got trees, 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 trees. Oh, <laughs> I was just having a crash the entire time there, and then somehow didn't hit anything. So happy I got a handbrake. I would not be able to do this without a handbrake. Of course, in real life, as mentioned, you didn't have handbrakes, I don't think. Because the way the four-wheel drive was set up, it was kind of always on four-wheel drive. So if you pull the handbrake, you basically stall the car. No disconnect. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. This handbrake is getting some work. This car does not like this. It's very bad at this, uh, this slow speed stuff. It needs to stretch its legs. Oh, 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 okay, okay. We're good. Perhaps we're good. Oh, I just don't know where we're going. I know the pace notes are there, but the corners come up so quick. Oh, God, I hit something there. I can't help but think. Oh, God! 
Hmm. That looks like a tree in the mirror. I think I just Bunza sapped a tree. Why a tree? <laughs> a bit forgiving again. We're only in the time trial, but we're only in for a bit of fun. Three left short, 30, one right. And two right short, and four left short. Turn square. I just feel like I'm just narrowly hanging on to this thing. Not the rocks. Come on. Such a narrow power band, but when it when you reach the power band, you hit all 500 horsepower. Uh, it's just straight away, click the fingers, it's there. Left of the crest, 230. And it's all trying to put itself down on this dusty gravel trail. I'm to like pump the clutch so much to try and get some speed out of the corners. This has to be one of the oh god, spun it again. Useless. Go subscribe to Super GT instead. Broadband washed. I love hearing the turbo chirp as well. It's just it captures that like anger of the car so well. Two left of the crest into turn two right two twenty. This is always the first car I drive when I come to Group B because it's the one that I think really sums up the class the best. Slight left and tree one fifty slowing. Just power and no compromise. Turn square left tightens. Every time I drive it in sim, I just have this. Massive respect for those who did it in real life. I can't even imagine what this would have been like. The stress of the thing. Again, to reiterate, this car has the same power as a modern WRC machine. But... Oh, God. With none of the power, none of the grip, none of the downforce. Like, nearly there. Come on. Make it, make it, make it, make it. speak at the end there because I just wanted to let you guys hear the car a bit but oh my god that is such a beast oh 20 second battery normal holy hell so this stuff for me is what's important for a rally game making you really feel like you're driving this absolute beast of a car around some Kenyan stages and it felt challenging I was not in control half the time as you guys saw Difficult stuff to drive. Really enjoyed that. That was a ton of fun. Hope you guys enjoyed me seeing driving. Maybe not great, but at least attempting to wrestle this Group B monster. If you did, feel free to tap that like button. Subscribe as well, of course. And if you want to see anything else from this game, feel free to let me know in the comments below. And in the next and final video of our little mini WRC preview series, we're going to be trying WRC car. They're pretty damn fast. Anyway, take care. Have an awesome day. See you next time.